हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास फ्रेंड्स एज वी ऑल नो शॉर्ट एंड कॉम्पैक्ट सेंटेंसेस आर बेटर देन लॉन्ग सेंटेंसेस बट समटाइम्स वी शॉर्ट इन सेंटेंसेस बाय लिविंग आउट सम नेसेसरी वर्ड्स सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस सम incorrect omissions that we make while texting or speaking english language so let's begin the class there are some sentences on your screen please read the first sentence he came and asked my book in this sentence the word asked is a verb which means to put a question can we put a question to a book no so it is a wrong expression now read the next sentence please repeat after me he came and asked for my book here one more word is added that is for we use asked for when we want someone to give us something or when we request someone to give us something so it is a correct expression this one is right sentence now moving to the next sentences Please read the first sentence. He will dispose all his property. Here in this sentence the word dispose is again a verb which means to place or set in a particular order. But we are talking about the property. So this word is not conveying the correct meaning of the sentence. Now read the next sentence. please repeat after me he will dispose of all his property here in this sentence the word dispose of is a phrasal verb which means to get rid of something that you no longer need or want so we can say that we want to transfer our property to someone else so this is the correct expression now again i am here with a few more new sentences please read the first sentence young man dream glory and riches here in this sentence the word dream is a noun we can have good or bad dreams but this word is not expressing the correct meaning of the sentence now read the next sentence please repeat after me young man dream of glory and riches Here in this sentence the word dream of is a wish for or a hope for when someone thinks about a situation that they would like to happen we can say that they dream of having something or dream of doing something so dream of is conveying the correct idea of the sentence Let us move to the next sentences. Please read the first sentence. She explained me the matter. Here the word explained is conveying the sense that explain the speaker which is incorrect. We need something to place between explained and me. So the correct sentence should be like this. Please 
repeat after me she explained the matter to me here in this sentence there is an object which we have to explain to someone else please note that word explain is not followed by object pronoun like me him her you or us let us move to the next sentences please read the first sentence how much did you pay the book we often speak like this but this is incorrect a person can pay another person he can also pay a bill an account or a subscription but he pays for a thing that he buys so the correct sentence should be like this please repeat after me how much did you pay for the book Let us look at some more examples. Please read the sentence. He pointed the map on the wall. This sentence is not conveying the correct meaning of the sentence. It should be like this. Please repeat after me. He pointed to the map on the wall. or we can say he pointed at the map on the wall we also use point out which means direct someone gaze or attention towards for example he pointed out the boy who did it or we can say to point which means to direct for example do not point the gun this way now we have some more examples please read the sentence please remind me that later We always remind a person of something not remind a person something so the correct sentence should be like this please repeat after me please remind me of that later Let's look at some more examples. Please read the first sentence. He has not replied me yet. We always reply to a person, not reply a person. So, when we want an answer, we always say reply to me. So the correct sentence should be like this please repeat after me he has not replied to me yet let us recapitulate what we have learnt incorrect omission of some prepositions such as for of to and at